say to yourself, I want to be liked. You say to yourself, I want to be valued. Sometimes in myself, I'm guilty of this. We get caught up in being liked by people who don't even necessarily value or invest in who we are. They might like what we do. They might not like what we do. You being authentic, you don't need to be liked by everybody. You know, a lot of people don't like themselves. <laughs> and a lot of people don't do work to be of value. So don't make yourself a sub-character in your own story. Being valued means being intentional. You know, being valued means that there's a level of work that you do day in and day out to just be a quality person. Value equals quality. When you look at your relationships and you are worried about someone liking you or not liking you, ask yourself, what is it about them that you think determines your value? You make a list of the things that you do value, assess, assess the company that you keep. Do these people align with the things that are generally seen as value? If they do, awesome, lean into that because you want to be valued by a valuable person. You want to be valued by people that are valued because being liked is subjective, being valued I feel is objective. Wherever you go, you're always gonna be valued because you work to be a valuable person, right? Look at your list, look at the people that you're seeking approval from. What have they shown you in terms of being valuable, especially in your life? How do they pour into your life? How do they invest in you, you know? Social media makes it easy to blur the line in terms of thinking that if someone is, is peeking into our lives, that means that they like us or they value us. Some people just like to see what you're up to. Simple. <laughs> Some people just like to know what's going on. They don't want to be a part of it. They just want to know. You got to ask yourself, is that something that you value? You know, because an opinion, everybody has. Opinions are in abundance, but value, sincerity, effort, uh, a conscious in intentionality when it comes to you, that's something that you should value. If you are valued by someone, you always know that to the best of their ability, they're gonna do their best to take care of you. And sometimes taking care of a person that you value means that you keep your distance because you know you, you don't add anything to their life. So you value, you value who this person is. And a way to determine what value is, um, first off, write down the things that you value. You know, what do you, what do you value? What's, what's a value to you? I value cake. Yeah, I said it, don't judge me. But I value someone that's trustworthy. I value someone who, who works hard and honest. I value someone who's consistent. I value loyalty. I value compassion, um, emotional intelligence, uh, humor. <laughs> you know, these are the things I value because those things lets me know that this person does their best to work to be better. And they hold themselves to a high regard. So when you think about value, think about what it is that you yourself value. And also look at yourself when it comes to value. Do you work to be these things? Do I work to be trustworthy? Do I work to be honest, sincere, compassionate, consistent? Then yes, I am of value. That's, that's how you determine your value because those things cannot change whether or not somebody likes me. Don't worry so much about being liked. And I get caught up in this too. It's like, man, I hope this person, or think of a date, you, you hope this person likes you. Or think of a job, I hope this person likes me. No, start saying to yourself, anywhere I go, I would hope that I'm valued because I work to be a valuable person or an invaluable person. Always seek to be valued before anything. Because no matter where you go, as long as you carry value with you, no one can take that away from you. You are always a main character in your story, okay? People that you're seeking to be like from, do you, do you like and value them? Do they have redeemable qualities about themselves? Are they trustworthy? Are they consistent? Do they show up in your life? Are they honest? Are they loyal? Are they supportive? You know? That's what determines value. You are wondering if you're gonna be liked or not. Ask yourself, am I valued? And ask yourself, what do I value? And ask yourself, who do I value? Line it up, take your time and process. You know, I was thinking about my my days, how I spend my days, my, my day in and day outs, and the work that I have to do. Um, on my
myself, but also just out in the world um, to make things happen. And sometimes you really have to take a look around in terms of the work that you're doing, the helping hands that are present, and people that are just standing by, you know? When you look at the work that you're willing to do on your own, consistently, whether or not anybody's watching, you gotta ask yourself, does it really matter who's gonna like me or not? Because whether or not they like me, they're still not helping me get this work done. When you are valued, it's a whole different ball game. You know, do you make it a point to, to be a person of value? Do you work for yourself? If so, yes. That's what you lean into. Always be in a company where you are valued because when you're valued, like I said, you're always taken care of. Look up what it means to be a, a high value person. You know, accountability, self-awareness, emotional intelligence, um, consistency, being trustworthy, loyal, compassionate, genuine, supportive. Those are all qualities of a person of value. And it's always something to admire about a person who has those qualities. Okay? So whether or not you're liked, you're seen, you're felt. And you're hurt because you're valued. All right. Hope you guys have an amazing week. Hope you guys take care of yourselves. And of course, I hope you guys take care of each other. Take flight.